Hello, it's Sarah, and I am working on the art I make piece. I've cut apart the big one, so here's the bottom. I kept all this chain together for now. I might use that on the bottom of it, I'm not sure. I love it. And then look at all these pieces. I got this like flower, this just pearl ring and this bling ring. Look at that, huge. This flower piece, this, I'm not sure. I was thinking that could be like her neck, this huge teardrop. This crown is super cool. I love it, but I think I'm going to go with the other crown. And then this pearl and these two findings here. I've pulled some other things from my stash. Um, this, let's see, this white piece came from the Art I Cake, Art I Make, Art I Cake, yeah, the head and the crown, but then I filled it in with some beads from my stash. Um, this actually came from it too, because I don't have one like that. I'm trying to kind of see how she could look like she has a neck. And then I've gathered up some other supplies. Um, I thought I might try one of these and make it like a skirtish, like a skirt, but I think I'm going to go with the full size. And I, I thought I was going to use these eye screws, but I think I'm going to go with eye pins to, um, and I might even try threading this on with an eye pin. But I used wire, I used 20 gauge wire because I didn't know how big it would be. But I might, to make the arms, I think I'm going to go in the sides and make little arms. Um, thinking, so I've just gathered up some supplies. I think it's going to be purple. I'm going to glue this. I could actually, um, I might see if I have a thick purple ribbon, but I don't think I do. I don't think I do because that would be perfect. And ribbon would adhere easier. This paper is kind of hard. Um, and then I have this lace that I was thinking I might overlay. It's a little long. So I'm going to see what other lace I have. But I do think I am going to do that. So I'll be back when I've kind of put things together a bit more. Okay. Be back. Okay. I'm back and I've got... I didn't end up using the chain from the bottom. Um, pretty much went with what I was thinking. Um, I gave her some arms and legs, so let me show you what I have. I'm gonna show you it hanging for the for a minute, but I don't think that's gonna be um, very good to show you. But look, it's like a little art doll. Um, I did not glue the pin in. I actually used this 20 gauge wire. I'm going to lay her down, but look, look how cute. She has little arms. I put um, my lock and key, made with love lock and a little key for her hands. And then I just put these little beads. They come already um, like with a, with a bail in them. So I just hung them on the arms to kind of thicken them up. It's just chain. And then the legs are the same thing. I just did um, beads and then a piece charm, two piece charms for her feet. So I'm going to lay her down, see if you have a better um, better view this way. Um, so the head is exactly what I was thinking. I just filled the crown. I don't know if you can tell. There is a bead inside there. And then I put a bead cap inside as well just to kind of keep it as steady on the head as I could like because it would it was moving around a lot and then there's a little crystal butterfly on the very top of the crown because they usually have some type of gem up there and then I just made this loop in the wire and put a um, jump ring and a little piece of um, ball chain and then I thought she should have a neck she had a big hole this bead had a big hole, so I just took one of my spacer beads and kind of, it it fit in the hole, so it holds her neck kind of steady. And then I just put a rondelle, I think they're called rondelles, um, underneath that to kind of give her a neck. And then this flower piece I just love and just thought it kind of played into that royal kind of like 
I don't know. They always were kind of puffy things at their collar. So, um, and then I did end up using um, eye pins. I thought I was going to use eye screws, the eye screws, but I just thought they were way too bulky, so I just use eye pins, and eye pins are just, um, they're like a pin, I put them away, I just put them away, um, it's just a, like a pin with, an, with a loop on the end of it, and that's where I hung my, um, the chain from, and then I just used jump rings and attached these beads to the chain and then there's the little key. I did the same thing on both arms. I just pushed a hole. I actually use these little things. These are the Tim Holtz. I don't know what they're called, but I just took this and kind of pushed a hole through the cork where I wanted it to go. Kind of eyeballed it and then just I didn't glue anything. So I hope this is going to hold. We'll see. Um she's not going anywhere, so I'll have her for a little bit. I did glue paper to the cork. I took a piece of this, pretty sure it's K and Company paper, and I covered it with paper, and I just thought, nah, that's not going to do it. So then I took a piece of this, um, kind of like a lacy trim, that was pretty much the perfect size, and just covered the paper so that you can see the purple kind of shining through. And then I took this trim and kind of made like a little dress on the bottom and put this black bling around it because I wanted to play off the black hair and then this cameo is a button and it was gold I mean there's a little glue still stuck to it I used for this whole thing I only used the um, Fabri-Tac glue I love Fabri-Tac it's kind of um, like a silicone almost but it's lace glass leather wood and trims I mean it's really tacky so I like that it, it starts to stick right away and then, um, so I use that on the whole thing on the back, just to kind of cover where everything attached. I put a little bow, kind of like her little butt would be having a little, um, you know how they do those old gothic dresses. And then, so I put the cameo on, but I did, um, it was gold. So I just took my silver leafing pen and made it silver because I didn't have any gold on here. So I wanted to keep it silver and just glued it on again with the Fabri-Tac and it's pretty on there so I'm pretty happy with that and then her little legs are just the same thing it's chain I have the chain here I like this chain it's got a little bit of um it's just a link chain but it has a little bit of a uh, texture to it and I've used this on quite a few things it's by Blue Moon um, and I had, I was going to go with this really shiny one. I kind of like this shiny chain too, but I ended up, I think I like it. I like everything. I actually really love her. I think she turned out super sweet. So that's kind of what I had in mind for this piece. And I have a lot of pieces left. Um, but the head was what really did it for me and made me think, yep, I want to make an art doll. So there she is. I'll hang her back up. I think it goes this way. I was pretty happy with how it, it hangs too, like she stays to the front. Because sometimes those of you who have made beads and things, you know, um, things can hang kind of wonky sometimes. But I think it looks pretty cool. I like the way it hangs. So that's it. I actually made something. I'm pretty happy. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.